good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss about the political theory growth and evaluation so if we have to discuss about the growth and evaluation of political theory of course we cannot forget the ancient greek city you know the importance of ancient greek city most of the theory evolved from the west why most of the theory evolved from the west you know the contribution of the greek is very much important we cannot forget the already contribution of the socrates the plato aristotle you know they all discuss about what is the state and you know from the state itself the observation the prediction you know their measurement this all define what is important for state and the people so if we have to discuss about the political theory you know we have to discuss from the all people perspective and that is related from the objective of a state so you know from the earlier is what is the objective of a state was happiness the virtue of happiness means it's already the concept was evolved if the people will be happy of course they will not going to commit the crime so what is happening in the denmark in the new zealand you know the crime is not committed by the people so that's why the sort prison is is shut down by their government because the people were happy from the state all the people if happy why they will going to commit the crime and you know the justice is also maintained by the country so if the happiness and the justice will going to prevail in the state of course that will promote a good life so all these happiness justice and good life you know it's reflect in the thought of plato and aristotle that discuss about what is the origin of a state and the concept of power so for if we have to focus the growth and evolution of political theory in broader way we have to go through the three major streams so three major stream is what the first is the classical political theory the second is modern political theory and you know the contemporary political theory so in the first we'll going to discuss about the classical political theory so in the classical political theory you know we have to focus on the philosopher like socrates plato and aristotle so you can see that what they believe in the political spire pursued to establish a rational basis of action and the, from the state side the rational basis of action is important to rule their people in good way for good life or for the ideal state so this is way you know this identify the political with the public use of commonwealth whatever is having the already you know in the state is having the wealth itself that is for everyone that is for the sharing purpose that is for common for every person and you know through this already the state activity relationship and belief as a for whole community so activity is relating to rule warfare and education religious activity this we will be discussing about the activity of the state other side is relationship between the social class and ruler and the rule between superior and inferior so of course if there will be social class itself you know they the between the ruler and the rule that is for the relationship and the last one is what you know a state if is going to believe in the justice that will going to promote the equality and natural law so in the next already importance of political is classical political theory always emphasizes on the older balance you know is what order the balance and the equilibrium and the stability of the state and harmony in the society or harmony in the country so it cannot you know it's dwelt on the terms such as conflict anarchy and instability and revolution so so broadly the classical po political theory laid stress on comparative studies for supplying a more comprehensive explanation of political phenomena and a wider range so there is what you know the reason for classical po political theory is to develop classification of political form
we know that there are so many forms of political forms is there like monarchy is there aristocracy is there democracy is there you know dictatorship is there that we all going to discuss in another lecture so first is this is these are the form of political form that is set of concepts such as law citizenship and justice and participation so as explain differences similarity between them so there are always you know from the if you see from the law citizen and justice perspective all the political form are different but we here we will going to discuss about the perspective of classical political theory is what the plato said plato said about you know advocated for the ideal state the ideal state is what that will going to regulate every aspect of citizens lives to provide for better interest means that will going to regulate the provide for best interest of the people aristotle similarly he defined the state can be achieved the best possible and you know what is what good conduct meant of pursuing moderation so again from the socrates point of view you know the socrates method is what where a series of question are posed in order to challenge implication of answer whatever the change changes is made by the ruler that we can ask question and that will going to challenge the implication of answer and as agustin already has said about the city of god even the god can already live in the society what is which is ideal form of state promoted by the ruler so classical political theory you know that is theory is by projecting the best form of politiki political of ideal state now we'll going to focus on the modern of political theory the modern political theory is what you know the modern political theory is going to there is diverse trend modern political theory is having the state is having the institutional structure they believe in the scientific positivist empirical behavioral and you know the post behavioral and the marxist so why the form of modern political theory is change we have to see because you know it's from the beginning itself they will going to promote the liberal stance from the 5th and the 16th century and you know later they are expressing itself in the institutional positives empirical behavior post behavioral you can see that most of the philosopher those who will going to talk about the natural law natural rights theory you know it in between the 15th and 16th century the stuart mill is there john locke even the rousseau you can see that most of these philosopher you know they talk about the liberal stance so if we go see the advocate whatever is from the marian and the key to doll and caswell you can easily understand what is the modern political theory sort so its modern political theory is deal with present rather than past it deal with living rather than dull immediate rather than remote objective rather than subjective it's deal with analytic rather than philosophic explanatory rather than descriptive process oriented rather than purpose oriented and scientific rather than theoretical the idea behind political theory to bring western liberal democratic thought so if we talking about the democracy you know a liberal democracy of course we cannot forget the contribution of west right now you can see that united states actively actively engage in the promotion of democracy all over the world already at attack in the afghanistan in iraq already is in libya and they want to promote the democratic state because other form of government will going to is threat for entire world so we will not going to discuss politics here but we will see that what is the idea behind the modern political theory and to promote liberal democratic thought because you know it's build a science of politics objective and empirical observational measurable and operational if anyone will going to ask what is modern political theory you can is explain in easy way the modern political theory we take to build the science of politics with objective empirical observational measurable 
operational and value free and you know we can also use modern political theory for testing hypotheses for our studies to see the regularities in human behavior and we can also is subjective gives a way to objective about the philosophical interpretation to analytical explanation and for all these you know the fact is relevant and for theory to research a status quo to social change so last line itself you know it's will going to make more clarification about it is modern political theory is you know what it is regarded as more important then what it was what it ought to be or what it could be so in the clarification i will again we will see what we discuss in the first slide of modern political theory is what modern political theory stand the marxist political theory so that's why we also call the dialectical materialist or scientific socialist theory because it's related to the socialism itself so how it's related to socialism we are going to discuss so in this describe general laws of the motion in the development of all phenomena you know the general laws of the motion we use in the development of all phenomena because why because it is important lies in change through the struggle between opposite between relationship of production and productive force so with a view to have a better mode of production you know development form and lower stage to the higher one and the other side is capitalist to socialist and from socialist to communist so you can see that how the so communism is going to promote through the modern political theory approach so this is the theory which provide the systematic and scientific framework for what for analyzing and explaining social and political change whatever the social and political changes are happening in the state we can examine or we can explain or we can analyze through the modern political theory approach so this is the method for interpreting the past understand the present and we can project the future so last one is about the contemporary political theory you know the contemporary political theory the present one is what that will going to be really concerned with explanation and investigation for what so re everything is related to politics about the concept the principles and the institution the barry rubin you know is 1965 the political argument what he already says that its political theory attempt to study the relation between principle and institution so this is a study between the principle whatever principle rules regulation is form and how it implicate the institution the similarly john rawls theory of justice in 1971 he what he think about the political theory you know it it can see truth alongside the scientific empirical method and robert nozick in the book already an arche state and utopia what he believe that contemporary political theory can solve many political problem by combining you know what classical end with empirical problem so john already plamentas what he said in the democracy and illusion 1973 is said about the empirical analysis and reflection of a logical and moral character can coexist in modern political theory so we cannot forget the contribution of david hell one of the uh, renowned you know the political theorist what he said about the political theory is is contemporary political theory is going to attempt to examine the significance of taste in their historical context it revitalize the classification and the meaning and the key form and concept of whatever sovereignty democracy and justice were defined earlier we we are now we are reexamining and that's why it's always underlying the structure of moral and political activities the disclosure examination and reconstruction of the foundation of political value 
so you can see that it's always used the revitalize the reconstruction and you know again the revitalize what about the theoretical question and particle political values so it can critic of all forms of foundationalism either postmodernist or the liberal defender so you can see that the critical contemporary political theory is critic of all form of foundationalism so in the already you know in the last section already it is elaborated as a form of systematic model building influenced by theoretical economic rational choice theory and game theory choice theory and the game theory again we'll going to discuss in the next next uh, other lecture so this is what it is aimed to construct the formal model of political process and you know this is developed as a theoretical enterprises of more discipline of political science as such as in attempt to construct theory on the basis of observation modest empirical generalization so you can see that already you know for the preparing this lecture i have used the reference igno political theory and introduction and introduction of political theory op guava if you need this book you can comment in this box and please like and subscribe my this channel and click on the bell icon so you can get regularly update if you need any improvement in my video please comment in the comment box so i can come with the again improvement so please like subscribe my channel click on the bell item and thank you again for watching my video